Hi everyone, this is Jonathan from Nintex. As I've been working through the community over the last couple weeks, I've had several people ask me how you can accomplish delegated tasks within Nintex for Office 365, as this is no longer an out-of-the-box functionality. So I wanted to make a quick video today and show you how that can be accomplished in what I think is a pretty slick way. While within your tasks you do have the ability to escalate to individuals and autocomplete, this isn't quite the same as delegation as it requires triggering on a time-based event. So here in my task action, you probably notice that I have three different outcomes. I have my standard approved, rejected, and I've also added a delegate branch. Here in my initial email options, I've gone ahead and let the initiator know that they've been assigned a task and that they can respond with either approve or reject because I do have lazy approval enabled. And I've also said, if you'd like to delegate this task, you'll need to set that via the task form that's been here. And I've linked that to my task form. For my task form, I'm using the new responsive designer. And down here, I've gone ahead and added this delegate to control. I did this by going into my SharePoint and pulling a people picker control up onto the form. In here, I've connected it to delegate, which is a workflow variable that I set. This is just a person group workflow variable. And what I've done is I've set up a nifty little rule so that when delegate has been selected from my task outcomes, it'll actually go ahead and make this delegate to required and then make it visible. Otherwise, it's not going to appear. And we can see this here in my preview. And so if I do approve, reject, nothing happens. But if I do delegate, then this delegate to comes up and I can type in something like Ford, which will pull them up via the people picker. So I've gone ahead and closed this out. What that'll do is it'll go down this branch and in my assignment of this delegated task, I've gone ahead and just set my workflow variable as the participant and then updated my task title here to delegated task. So let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm gonna go into my item. I've already published the workflow, but we'll go ahead and trigger it. Tasking test. Cool. So I'll jump over into my inbox for Ford. And we should see the initial email come through. Cool. So we can see here's the initial task. And it says, hi, Ford, you've been assigned a task. You can respond or if you'd like to delegate, which I would. So we'll go ahead and click on that. This will drop me into my task form. And of course, I want to delegate this task. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually delegate it back to myself as Ford, but actually I could also do this as my, say one of my global admin accounts, I could do to myself, really any of these are fine, but I'm gonna do Ford and then we'll say submit. And so back over here in my inbox, I can now see that I've got this new delegated task and I can respond to it with, a, with approve or reject. So again, kind of a quick and easy way to set up some delegation in Office for 365. If you have any questions, feel free to leave some comments below and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you.